Kishan Jemerson, the man accused of stabbing a handyman to death in Renton, was back in court today. The state trying to increase the 20-year-old's bail. As Fox 13's Lauren Donovan reports, there was online outrage over the release of the accused killer the day after the 65-year-old was murdered. And it looks like that impacted the state's decision. They now want him held on $2 million, saying the autopsy, which just wrapped up on Monday, also played a role showing the timing of the stab wounds and the location. One was in the middle of the back. The state also referred to this rain camera footage. In it, we see a clear altercation in the yard. The 20-year-old whacks the handyman from behind with a broom. The handyman then turns around and chases him. The defense says this stranger chased the 20-year-old into his own home. We don't know what happened inside the house. There was some sort of argument. The defense and Jimerson's mother do not want this video circulating anymore. The attorney says it makes her client unsafe. She thinks the characterization of him as a killer has led to the state considering an increase in bail. His mother spoke on his behalf today. She's worried about people seeking vigilante justice on him since the release. People want to take matters in their own hand and attack my child. I feel like he's being tried before he even had an opportunity um, to have trial. I want to say that I have a significant amount of empathy for the family and a significant amount of frustration, frankly, for the public expressing a desire for vigilante justice. The judge you just heard from there, Joanna Bender, is a different judge than the one who gave the first order setting bail at $50,000. This new judge says that was too low given the facts, but Jimerson does not have any priors. So they think for that reason the state's $2 million ask is too high. Instead, they landed on $500,000 bail, saying if he meets that, he'll be sent on house arrest with an ankle monitor. We'll keep tracking the story for now. Reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.